welcome back to my channel my name is michelle for today's video i'll be stuffing my sinking funds and bills for my march paycheck number two and i think it comes out to be about one thousand seven hundred dollars but before i get started i do have some happy mail so i know i said i wanted to <laughs> i know i said i wanted to limit my spending this month but i have honestly kind of been out of control but i'm hoping to kind of reel it in for the second half of the month let's see how that works so i got these envelopes from the Bell's Budget from Paige. I think on Etsy, her shop name is Bell Studio Design, but I'll have it linked below. But I have seen these in diff different people's videos and I just think they're so beautiful. And I didn't necessarily, I did need to add planner. We'll get into that later. I added coffee, which I used to have one, and I took it out, but I'm going to add it back in. And this will just be for my Nespresso, like, resupply. And then future, I already had a future envelope, but I wanted to kind of update it. I won't be st stuffing coffee and planner today, but probably starting my next paycheck, I'll start contributing a little bit each time. So I'm just going to add those to my pink binder. So that's what they look like. They're so beautiful. I'm really happy with them. And they, I don't know, honestly, I don't remember when I bought this. It's kind of a blur. But, because <laughs> I bought so much stuff. But, um, but I feel like the processing and shipping time was really fast. So I really appreciate that because... Making envelopes, like I know they look simple, but they're actually really time consuming. So thank you, Paige. Those are beautiful. Can't wait to start stuffing them. Okay, and for the second half of my Happy Mail. So I used my luxury money to like kind of revamp my whole entire planning system. And I'm going to do separate videos on that because I know not everybody cares about planning. I'll do kind of like one video per planner that I set up. But this is kind of relevant to budgeting. So I bought these from Notique. It's my first time buying from Notique. So I didn't really know what to expect. I mean, I've seen them on Instagram, of course, a lot. But I bought this pencil pouch which I really love. I love how it opens like that. I just think it's so beautiful. I usually on Sundays I go to Starbucks and I will kind of do some work, do some planning, do some reading. So I like to have a pencil pouch to kind of take with me. And then I also bought this wallet, I guess. It could be a wallet. It could also be for like a personal size planner. I think that's the size but anyways so i bought the one that came with the inserts so it has like a budget tracker here and then they come with these envelopes so i'm going to use this as my wallet i don't have a light colored wallet like this so i was really excited about it and then there's also to pay to do to buy and then some notes pages so i'm gonna actually make labels myself for these envelopes and then it has all of these pockets in the back and in the front. And then if I didn't want to use it as a wallet, it's also the same size as this planner that I use to carry with me. So if I wanted to, I could actually just put this in there instead of using it as a wallet. So I like that. So I'm probably going to start using this today and probably make some labels, hopefully over the weekend. And then I also bought another planner from Notique and then a bunch of inserts and then two more planners. So I went a little crazy. I used my luxury money because some of the other planners are luxury. Like I said, I'll make separate videos for that. Okay, so starting with my wallet, I... Hello. I do have some rollover money, so $16. Put that to the side for now. And then switching to this one. I don't know if I mentioned, but you can buy it without the insert. So you could just buy this cover. 
But anyway, so starting with my wallets. Okay, so $50 for groceries. So that will be $20.40 and $50. Gas is going to get twenty dollars, so ten, twenty. And then self care is going to get ten. Spending is going to get fifty, twenty, forty, fifty. I thought about decreasing spending. So I feel like if I decrease it, then maybe I'll have more self-control. I don't know. And then giving's going to get five. Maybe for next month, I'll try to do a no spend month. And then this last one, I'm just going to use as change. All right, so that's it for my wallet. Moving on to my bills. Starting with rent, it's going to get 250. One, two, 50. Utilities is going to get 50. So 20, 40. And 50. My bill hasn't come out yet for my water, but I feel like it's typically around like 35, maybe so. 50 is a little more than I need, but I like to have rollover in utilities. Loans is gonna get 260, so 100, 200, 50, 60. And that's for my personal loan and my student loans. Car payment's going to get 350, so 100, 200, 350. I have about 4,000 left on my car. So the end is definitely in sight. Phone's going to get 50. Subscriptions is going to get 75, so 50, 75. Emergency is going to get 10. So in my budget with me, I mentioned that this check's a little smaller than normal, so I am still able to stuff my sinking funds pretty well, I feel like, but my saving challenges aren't getting as much money as they normally do, which is totally fine. But I always like to stuff like my high priority sinking funds and emergencies, definitely one of those. So in emergency, we have 1,000, 100, 200, 300, 10, 20. Debt is getting 350, so 100, 200, 350 gifts is getting 20 my mom's birthday is at the beginning of april so i don't know what i'm gonna get her yet but i have 40 dollars so far typically my sisters and i just split something that my mom wants books is getting skipped because i'm doing the savings challenge for that lola is getting ten dollars So she has 50, 70, 80, 85. Okay, moving on to my pink binder. Personal is getting 20. So we have 100, 20, 40, 50. Car maintenance is getting 20 as well. So 
So we have 150, 70, 90, 210, 220. Miscellaneous is getting 10. So we have 20, 35. Home is getting 20. So that has 100, 200, 20, 40, 50. So for home, I know I mentioned it a long time ago, but I haven't really talked about it in a while. I wanna buy a chair for my library and that is gonna come out of my home fund. But I also want my home fund, like the home fund goal is like a thousand. And that doesn't include the chair. Just because I want to have like a stash of money in case something around the house needs to get done. So the chair's like $600. It's kind of expensive. But I don't want to just wipe out my complete home fund. I think I want to use like half of it for the chair. So I don't know if that makes sense. But basically, so I have... 250 so i would say 125 that would be for a chair i don't know if that makes any sense but savings is going to get 20 so 100 200 320 beauty is going to get 10 20 40 60 80 90 Isela is going to get 10. I think we're going to take her to the um, Children's Museum pretty soon. So she has 20, 30, 40, 45. Sorry if you can hear the airplanes. I live right by the airport. And some days they seem louder than others. Or maybe it's just when I'm filling it seems louder. But coffee, like I said, I need that for my espresso. And then planner will be for our planner supplies. Future is going to get 20. So future has 150, 70. Vacation is getting $20. So vacation has 150, 75. And then rollover is getting nothing from my budget, but it will get the $16 that was in my wallet. All of these bills are so disgusting. <laughs> but um, rollover has 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74. So probably stuff that uh, maybe next week I'll do a cash stuffing for my rollover money and it'll probably go towards savings challenges because I didn't really stuff as much of my savings challenges from this paycheck. Okay, so I should have $180 left over because that is what I'm stuffing into my savings challenges. So 50, 70, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. All right, so that's it for today's video. I finally did my taxes, so pretty soon I should find out if I have to actually use my tax money that I was stuffing or if I can put it towards something else. So I'll let you know how that goes. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.